I'm Julia Stump, an Instructional Design Librarian at Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the sixth video in our Evidence-Based Medicine Diagnosis Series. In this video, we focus on likelihood ratios associated with diagnostic tests. Like sensitivity, specificity, and positive and negative predictive values, likelihood ratios help you choose and interpret diagnostic tests. Likelihood ratios are ratios of probabilities. They incorporate both sensitivity and specificity into a single number and are more useful than sensitivity and specificity measures alone. Likelihood ratios indicate the extent to which a given diagnostic test result will increase or decrease the probability of the target disorder being present. Diagnostic tests can either be positive or negative, but a positive test result does not necessarily mean someone has a disease and they should be treated, and a negative test result does not necessarily mean someone does not have a disease and should not be treated. The likelihood ratio can change the probability of disease, either moving closer to the treatment threshold if testing positive, or moving closer to the no treatment threshold if testing negative. How much the post-test probability changes depends on the actual value of the likelihood ratio. Each diagnostic test has a positive and a negative likelihood ratio. If the result of a test is positive, you use the positive likelihood ratio to determine post-test probability of disease. If the result of the test is negative, you use the negative likelihood ratio to determine post-test probability of the disease. The higher the value of the likelihood ratio when the patient tests positive, the more likely the patient has the condition. Likewise, the lower the value of the likelihood ratio when the patient tests negative, the more likely the patient does not have the condition. As a general rule, likelihood ratios greater than 10 or less than 0.1 means there will be a large change in probability of someone having a disease if a patient tests positive or negative. So how do you determine likelihood ratios? Well, you use sensitivity and specificity, which we discussed in video four of this series. Positive likelihood ratios are calculated by taking sensitivity over one minus specificity. Negative likelihood ratios are calculated by taking one minus sensitivity over specificity. These ratios are the likelihood that a test result would be expected in a patient with a disease. Unlike predictive values, though, they are not influenced by prevalence. Keep in mind, positive likelihood ratios greater or equal to 10 are very useful because this is a large change and moves post-test probability much closer to the treatment threshold. Between 5 and 10, they are moderately useful and from one to five, they aren't very useful. Negative likelihood ratios less than or equal to 0.1 are very useful because this is a large change and moves post-test probability much closer to the no treatment threshold. Between 0.5 and 0.1 are moderately useful and from 0.5 to one are not very useful. In the last short video in this series, we will discuss nomograms and how they help you use a likelihood ratio to get from pre-test probability to post-test probability.